All right, so what we're doing today is we're gonna do a water test and we're gonna test, uh, I'm gonna make a box at a curdy board. I'm gonna make another box at a curdy board with the waterproofing uh, face membrane off. And then I'm gonna take some of this weedy here. I'm gonna make, make another box out of that. Seal, I'm gonna seal everything up with the weedy sealant. And in my opinion, all the sealants out there, curdy fix, weedy, Artex, they're pretty much all very, very similar from I've used them all so I have some of this laying around I'm just gonna use this to seal it up and uh, we're gonna let it sit for at least a few hours if not overnight and then we're gonna fill these little boxes up with water and we're gonna show you the results see if they leak or not so let's get started with that Get all the pieces sitting here let everything dry up nicely and we will fill these up with water roughly quarter to halfway and uh, see what happens okay <clears throat> here we are back the next day it's been over 24 hours now with this weedy seal I only needs about two hours for it to be ready for water test but I gave it a solid 24 make sure these boxes are held together strong and it's sealed Mainly because that's the only thing holding these boxes together is the sealant, so I don't want to lift it up and fall apart. So I mean, it, <clears throat> we let it dry. So we let it dry. 24 hours, make sure it's good. So I just got a clean bucket of water here. I start pouring it in. Let's see what happens. Okay, now for the curdy board. We have a leak on the curdy board. Must have lost it on the sealant there. Coming out down there. So we'll dump that out, reseal it. This time I'm just gonna be using some uh, Cardex CA20P there that I've laying around. Do the job. Sealed off the bottom, it's coming out of this corner right here, so I resealed all that, the whole bottom area. Um, redid the whole inside this time, I just took my finger to it so I'm not taking too much away. So that should seal it, otherwise if that's not sealed, then there's a hole in the curtain board that I'm not seeing. So that should do it, but I'll let this dry, then we'll flood out again, see what happens. Okay, here we are back about 24 hours or so after I uh, sealed up this uh, curdy board with the Artex CA20P in there. So I'll seal it up over there and I seal it along the bottom. So we're going to pour some water in here, see if she holds.
There's a hole in there. And uh, these other ones here are still holding. You got the weedy board still holding right on my line. No leak in at all. And then you got the curdy board with the orange waterproofing membrane removed. Still holding. So this foam, I would say, is definitely in closed cell. No leaks. So really, what what is weedy board in my opinion? All it is is a closed cell foam, which curdy board is already, with their mesh and a uh, thin set mortar or whatever type of mortar they, they use but they use some type of mortar on this with a mesh tape and that's it and that's why it makes these boards very rigid compared to the curdy board but in that what that's going to do is still going to be waterproof and real rigid board but it's not vapor tight with curdy board since the, the foam itself is pretty much already waterproof as you could tell with holding water on this box here Having an orange waterproofing membrane on the on the face and back, it gives you insurance if you have a hole in here in the back of it's going to be sealed. Plus, what it does is it makes it vapor tight. So here's a curtain board if I just filled it up here, and that is holding water no problem. I'm going to mark a line. We're going to come back here. It's Friday now. We'll come back here. I would say Monday and see if these are all holding water still, which I would say they will be. So let's mark a line and we'll be back on Monday. Okay, it is now Sunday. We've had a leak here. I'm just checking this. I haven't been here since Friday. This curtain board must have a hole in it somewhere because it is leaking out the whole water. Weedy board and curtain board with the face remover is holding water fine. Okay, here we are back. I'm going to be doing one more test here this is with the curdy board just bond it with the curdy fix and as you know from the previous test this does not seal this will fail so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try one more method which many um, tall guys do they use curdy board okay and they use a liquid waterproofing membrane in this case we're going to use laticrete hydroband so I'm going to take this brush here and I'm going to try to just coat the inside corners here give that one coat let that dry for two hours and then give it one more let that dry for two or three hours and then we'll flood it out and uh, see if that seals it up so I'm on there on the brush just gonna paint it right in there Okay, we're giving it sufficient time for it to dry. So we're gonna give it another coat. Okay, we got a second coat in there, if you can see that. up a few inches so let that dry and we'll flood it out once again light of creek hydro band so let's see if this is gonna pass time will tell we'll flood this out once it dries stay tuned okay here we are back hydro band is had overnight to dry here it is completely dry in there two coats of it on a curdy board Let's see if it's going to hold water. Ordinary cup of water. Two cups of water in there. Let's see if it stays. Let's uh, oh, no, no need, no need to even mark a line. We'll know if it's leak. I'll start staying this plywood. All right, we'll let that sit and come back in a few hours see if we have any leaks here we are back it's been sitting for about three four hours and i see zero leaks i mean this thing is having more than no problem that is all in water no problem So 
to let this sit overnight and check it again and see what we got. But so far, so good. Okay, just to prove to everyone what day it is right now, it's Wednesday, September 6, 2017, 1.04 p.m. This has been sitting overnight and we have zero leaks anywhere. And look at this. There's zero leaks. So, we'll let it sit again another day or so, come back, check it out, and uh, show you what I mean. Okay, Vita Cree Hydro Band 2 coats on this Curdy board held together with Curdy Fix. If you watch my old videos, this box failed with just a Curdy Fix. So, we added two layers of Vita Cree Hydro Band liquid, liquid waterproofing membrane. And this has been holding water for four or five days easily now. So, we're going to say this is definitely a pass with liquid membranes on top of Curdy board, at least. Hydroban. Can't say for sure for other liquid membranes, but definitely in Hydroban. So there you go. Okay, here we are. Test all these foam board products, as you can tell. This is the Curdy Boil Weedy Sealant. Failed. I didn't use Artex CA20P. That failed. So I built another box out of Curdy Board and just used Artex CA20P. That failed as well. Then we have the Weedy board with Weedy sealant, and then Curdy board with the uh, orange face removed on both sides, sealed together with Weedy sealant. Both of these have passed, been sitting here for about three, four weeks. So zero issues with that. Um, <clears throat> goes to show you that uh, when it comes to doing waterproofing uh, in any type of shower insulation, you really want to follow the manufacturer's uh, insulation procedure. Um, <clears throat> There's a lot of contractors out there that will vary from that and they'll put different systems together. You know, some things will work, but there's no telling until you really test it out. And this is a test showing that using the sealant, especially on a curdy board, will not seal, will not seal the, the seams, corners, and uh, fastener penetration. So when it comes to the curdy board, you really want to use their banding and everything. Because that makes it watertight. The sealant won't do it. As far as weedy... Their system passes, just like they say, using this sealant as they say per instructions will pass no problem. So <clears throat> when it comes to foam board products and waterproofing materials for showers, follow the manufacturer's recommendation every time. Don't stray from that. You won't have any issues at all. As far as board manufacturers go, here's your Sluder Curdy board, half inch. Well, all these boards are half inch. We board. The Curdy board is definitely the uh, flimsiest out of all of them. Um, but easier to work with. The easiest board to work with that I've worked with so far is definitely Curdy board. Uh, Weedy board is not as easy. Just because you have that mesh on the front with a... Uh, with, uh, mortar reinforcing and it's a very stiff board definitely sturdy a little bit heavier but you know you go through a lot of blades cutting this stuff but it's a sturdy product well made zero issues with that this is a uh, gold board i believe this is made by john mansville this is pretty stiff as well this is uh, a closed cell foam and on the, the middle of the board is like all these all these foams with a fiberglass on the front. So I've used this product one time. Didn't like it. This fiberglass ends up getting on your skin, itching you, creating a lot of irritation. There's another few boards on the market. You have the USG board, which I don't have in a sample of, but very similar to this board, which is a Latticrete Hydro Band board. And this board and the USG one I really like. I haven't had a chance to use them yet, but very dense foam and you know, waterproof on both sides with their membrane and it's a very sturdy product i mean you could barely bend this stuff and what's great about this board you don't have to use washers with it only on a ceiling so any type of wool insulation or floors just just to fasten it itself no washers can't tell you how it performs or to work with it exactly because i have not worked with it yet I have worked with these two and this one, and uh, they all have their pros and cons. I'm not going to say one is better than the other, but you need to go out there, tr try a couple out, 
build a couple of showers and see what you like and uh, go from there but once again make sure you in install these products per manufacturer instructions and you won't have any issues so that's the conclusion of this test I will have future tests once I get my hands on some USG board in the ladder creep board I started doing some showers out of that and see what happens as long as I get my hands on locally so I can get Curdy board locally, weedy board, and go board, everything else. I could get USG as well, Laticrete. Don't see them anywhere around here that's carrying it yet. And uh, we're in the central Jersey area, by the way, so we have a lot of options with the Laticrete board. I haven't seen anyone start to carry yet. And uh, yeah, so that's the conclusion of the test. Hope this was helpful. If you have any uh, questions, concerns, anything you want to ask please uh leave a comment and please like and subscribe thanks for watching